It is so painful to see someone you've spent your precious time with and have built so many beautiful memories cheating behind your back. She was my one true love. My very first crush in high school and I had always thought that someday I might marry her. But fate had other plans. As I joined Indian Corp, I had to move overseas to help construction of gigantic oil rigs as a senior engineer. After 10 years working there and spending my days and nights, I planned to come back home to do my PhD in petroleum engineering. Her memories were still fresh in my mind and I had thought maybe at some point I might meet her as I still wanted to be in touch with her. After returning, I contacted all my school fellows to find Mary and to my surprise she had not left the city and was working in a local library. One day I dressed up in a good suit and planned to give her a visit. As I entered the library, I was surprised to see she has gained so much weight, but I covered it all and greeted her in a very warm way. She was unable to recognize me at first. After giving me a good look, she jumped with excitement, as if she had seen a ghost. She was the one of my very first pen pal and we used to have regular conversations by letters. It was an over old school methods to stay in touch. After graduating from university, I had to move overseas for work. After explaining this all to her, I asked her if she had time in the evening. I would really like to take her to find dinner to which she smiled and happily agreed, and I was anxiously waiting for the evening. As I saw her, she was wearing a really beautiful pink dress and looked so fresh. We had a really good Chinese dinner and after having a nice meal and long walk, I asked if she had been seeing someone who had any relationship going. To my surprise, she replied in negative and said that she had been working two jobs and had no time for any kind of relationship because she had her aim to achieve a PhD in mathematics and in the day she was a librarian and by night she had been giving lectures to university students. I told her how amazing my time had been in all these years as I have travelled all across the globe with the company and visited almost all the exotic locations while working. It was more of an adventure for me but recently I have taken time to return to my native city so that I can continue my PhD as I wanted to upgrade my skills and get better job opportunities so here I am starting university for petroleum engineering. We really had a beautiful conversation that night as we were chatting up on all the old memories and discussing so many school stories of our other classmates. She really loved to gossip about her friends and I was a good listener and the evening was beautiful. Although she was pretty overweight now and she was hard to recognize. But since she was my first crush, I really wanted to have a meaningful relationship. So I asked her if she would be available on the upcoming weekend so I could give her a surprise. She smiled and agreed. I took her to the carnival that was happening right next to the museum. She was amused to know that after all these years, I still remember our first dating place. I clearly remember that I won a teddy bear in shooting contest and gave it as a gift to her. After spending so much time together, we were happy to see each other and now it was a regular thing for us to meet up on a daily basis. As after university, I used to visit her in the library and we used to go for a walk or have coffee sometimes dinner or a long walk. It became a regular thing for us and before we knew we were dating once again, but this time I wanted to make it official, so I requested her. I would love to have you as my wife to which she happily agreed and the next month we got married. It was like a dream come true, so I spent one year of my savings to purchase a home just for her so that she can save her savings to get a PhD. It was a gesture that I wanted to give as it meant so much for me to be with her and we were happy. But sadly, not for too long. Being all dreamy and romantic, I was away from the reality because although she was a nice lady and a very helpful wife, but she was very obsessive with junk food and used to overeat. 
In start, it was not much of a concern because I was madly in love with her. But soon things started to take a toll, as she was a pretty huge spender and used to eat cakes and KFC. I tried to softly stop her or change her habits and have to live a healthy lifestyle, although she acted in the start that she would work on herself, but all was in vain as she used to expand it as stress eating and was gaining weight more and more day by day. At first, she was just fat. Within a year, she got a beast. I always wanted to have children with her and want to make a family and build my life around it. But as we went to our doctor, he declined our medical reports because stress on her heart, metabolism and sugar levels were so high that the child might get affected by it. So we both were very much concerned and she promised that she would do her best getting back in shape so that we can have children. But the thing is that she persisted in living that old lifestyle and did not bother much. I bought her the best gym membership that I could, although she went there just for a couple of days and was back in the library and was busy studying for her PhD and was totally unconcerned about her health. The first thing that really shook our ground was that she collapsed while being in the library and was rushed to the hospital and the doctor said that her glucose levels were so high that she was utterly forbidden from eating any sugar for the next six months. But as she recovered and came back home, bad habits still took over her. One day I was going to the CCTV footage of our living room. I was surprised to see that she was eating donuts that she had hidden for me in a drawer. Upon confronting her, she accused me of spying on her. I explained that it was just a coincidence since I was just cleaning our CCTV history and wanted to see if everything has been going smoothly. She was very unhappy, but I still managed to keep it under control. After requesting her every day for like a month, finally she joined the gym, where she was at first not very excited, but soon I promised to buy her a really beautiful diamond ring. She agreed to lose weight and to go regularly. Finally, it was nice to see her at least she was trying to get back in shape. Her instructor put her on a keto diet with very strict green tea and salads throughout the day. It was hard for both of us as the food was pretty expensive and she was not interested, but we managed and I pushed her every day so that she could lose her weight. One day the strange thing happened as I was late for my university, she was home early, and to my surprise there was a guest with us. It was her gym fellow and they were both surprised to see me back at home as I explained that I forgot my papers. I was just here to pick them up. It was something that I did not give much thought to, as I assumed maybe she was getting late and he was just dropping her. Now, this started to happen on a regular basis. He used to drop her every other day. Upon confronting me, she thought that he just lives two blocks down the road and was happy to drop her without any issues. As the weekend approached, I was cleaning my computer and going through CCTV. I was baffled and got full of anger to see her again and eating another streak of donuts. While sitting in our living room and taking them out of the closet, where she had hidden. This time, I just did not control my emotions as she returned from gym. I had box on the dining table and showed it to her. Why she have been doing this stuff behind my back while I have spent so much just to make her life better so that finally we can have children and we could also maintain her fitness. Instead of being embarrassed or apologizing, she started to confront me with accusations and started blaming me that I am keeping tip on her. I explained that this was not the case. I was just going through our CCTV history as it was a regular checkup for me that I do each month. What spooked me even more was that her fellow started dropping her almost on a daily basis. Now I was definitely not happy about it. I requested her to not take favors from him. While I can pick and drop easily, she shrugged it off by saying that it is not a big deal, but something started to come in my mind as I was not comfortable with him being around and something was that she started to lie and hide about. So one day I planned to just follow her 
and see how she has been progressing. I was surprised to know that she was not even there and I did not know what to do. So as I was going to call her, I immediately saw her sitting up in a bakery next to the gym and having a pastry with the same fellow and now I think that things have started to make a pretty clear sense in my mind and I was very very furious that why she has been cheating behind my back with just another boy. Instead of confronting them, I wanted to get some evidence so that I could ask her in person. This was the second night on one month that I had caught. Not only was she cheating on exercise, she had also been cheating on me with some random boy. I was pretty upset about this so I called my best friend and presented this problem in front of him. He was so pretty much concerned and was not happy about the outcome. I asked for his help as he was really a good IT expert so he came up with a very unique plan and shared it with me the next day. So I went to the market and bought a really beautiful purse and brought it to my friend. He installed a microchip camera in it so that I could check her activity, where she had been or was going. After getting everything installed, I gave it to my wife and requested her to forgive me for doubting her and she was happy to see this beautiful green purse. One thing that had started to eat me alive was she had never been to that gym and was hiding this new relationship. She also had left her evening lectures and in the meantime she was spending time with him at his apartment. As the bag started to capture the images of her, I was horrified to see that not only she was cheating behind my back, she was also discussing to divorce me and claim for the home and she wanted to marry him. It really broke my heart and took me to the most painful corners of my mind as I had never raised my voice on her or got angry. I have been nothing but a faithful husband and a very supportive significant other and only I had insisted was to keep herself maintained so that we can have a family together and build our future. The sad thing was that she did not really care about any of this and was just happy to play along as long as her needs were getting met. So I planned to catch her red-handed. I went to my lawyer and shared this problem. He said before I take any step, it's very necessary to have her sign on papers Otherwise, she can easily take the property away. An evening, as she came home, she was so tired that she could barely move. I requested her that these papers are very important and needed to be signed right away. Since she could barely move and was in no mood to read any of it, she just signed those papers and this was my ticket to freedom. I submitted them to my lawyer. The very next day, I called my friend and started following her. As she came out of his apartment, she was horrified to see us standing there. It was pretty much clear when I said to her, Is this the gym that you have been going this whole time? She was very embarrassed and could not utter a single word and as I told her that I have been tracking her since the boy started to drop her to our home and I knew everything that you've been going to the bakery and seen him for weeks. So she was upset and started to accuse me that I was calling her fat and was not supportive to which I said, I have done everything in my power just to be with her, otherwise why would I have married her? She said she will be going to court and getting a divorce right away and will be taking her home and property but she had no idea that I had already done my homework. As she went to the court the very next day to apply for divorce. They declared that she had no stake in the home or anywhere in my property, to which she was even more upset and had no clue what to do next. It was very shocking for her that I had known this from very start. This was also painful for me as I have never intended to take revenge from my own wife but she was the one who had been cheating behind my back with plan to take away everything that I had lovingly made for her. After all this mess, it took me a couple of months to get back on my feet. Soon my friend found me another beautiful date, who was a school teacher and was a very humble, decent lady. She was very much interested in having a beautiful family together, so without wasting time I got married to her and started my family life 
and this was something that I always wanted and I was so grateful to have it now.